Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to create a bootable Linux USB drive using Linux. And the third one might surprise you. I have lots of guides showing how to create bootable Linux USB drives using Windows, but I thought it was time to do one for those of you who have Linux but want to try out a different distro. So the first tool we will use is Belina Retcher, and this is for those of you who just want to try out a single distribution. You will need a blank USB drive to follow along, or a USB drive with nothing you want to keep on it, as it will be wiped. So start off with open a web browser and head over to etcher.io and click on the download link. Now click on the Etcher for Linux x64 link and wait for it to download. Whilst this is happening we will need at least one distribution, so you can see here I have navigated to the Zorin OS website and I'm downloading the latest version of Zorin. I'm also going to head over to the Ubuntu website and download the latest version of Ubuntu. With everything downloaded, you can now close the web browser. Open up a file explorer and navigate to the folder where you downloaded Etcher and double click on the Etcher zip file. Extract all the files from the folder and you see I simply dragged the folder into the downloads folder to achieve this. And you may see a warning message appear. This can be ignored. Go into the Etcher folder and double click on the executable and you will see a screen like this. Click on the flash from file button and find the ISO image of the Linux distribution you wish to use. In my case I will try Zorin. Click on select target and pick your USB drive. Finally click flash. Now this will take a while to run so I'd allow for 15 to 20 minutes to let it complete. When it is complete you will see this message and you can reboot and boot into the distribution you chose from the live USB. Note that you will need to press the relevant boot key to bring up the boot menu and select the USB drive you wish to boot from. The second tool I will show you is Ventoy. Now Ventoy is good for people who want a drive which can hold multiple Linux distributions or indeed other operating systems. Open up a web browser and search for Ventoy and click on the Ventoy link shown here and you should see this screen. Click on the downloads link and then click on the link for the Linux tar.gz file. At this point you'll be taken to sourceforge.net. Again click on the Linux tar.gz file. Wait for the file to download and then close the web browser. Open the terminal and navigate to your downloads folder and type ls to get the directory list in and note the full name of the file you just downloaded. Type tar-xzpf and the name of the downloaded file. Type ls again and navigate into the folder by typing cd and the folder name. To see a manual for Ventoy type nano readme. This gives full instructions as to how Ventoy works. For now though we need to know the disk to write Ventoy 2 and so to do this type lsblk and this gives a list of drives. In my case I want to write to dev sdd so all I type is dot forward slash ventoy to disk hyphen capital I forward slash dev forward slash sdd and the hyphen I in capital letters forces the write of ventoy to the disk regardless what's on the disk or not. Now it will ask whether I'm sure as the drive will be wiped so I answer yes to this and then it repeats the question to make doubly sure. Ventoy will now be installed to the drive. To add Linux ISOs to the drive, open a file manager and navigate to where the files are. Right click, copy and paste to the Ventoy drive. Now it may take a few minutes to copy but then you are done. Finally onto my third and final tool and this comes pre-installed with a lot of Linux distributions especially if you're using GNOME. The tool is the GNOME Disk Utility. Now I didn't have this installed so I opened a terminal and typed sudo pacman s gnome-disk-utility. Now you should be able to find it in the software manager for the distro you were using. It is a very common package. From the menu I now choose the disk tool and you will see this screen. To 
install an exciser to my USB drive, I first select the drive and then from the menu choose restore image. I then click on the folder icon and navigate to the ISO I wish to use and you can see it now starts copying the ISO to the drive. If you use Ventoy then you will see multiple ISOs as shown here but for the other tools it will boot straight into the ISO you've chosen. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.